took them out of the box that they shipped in. And first step is always put them under some heat. Uh, it takes a lot of heat to get these things to separate, but it's really the only way to get a pair of duck feet to come apart. Uh, that's one of the benefits of this soling material is that it's very self-adhesive is a good way to put it. It sticks to itself really well. So that spent about an hour in the heat box, um, just getting soft enough to peel off. So ultimately, you're just trying to roll it off of there. So I roll it about to where the heel ended because the heat hasn't penetrated all the way down there yet. So you get it to where the heel ends, hack that off, and then it's gonna go back into the heat box to warm that heel portion up. So this one already did its time for the sole and now we gotta pull the rest of that heel off. So same thing, you just get under there and roll it. And that one comes right off. And that's how you tear them down. One of the coolest things about this material, like I say, it's self-adhesive. So I don't have to use any cements to stick this together. You just have to rough it up enough and it becomes tacky. It's gonna get loud now. <laughs> now that I've roughed it up, you can kind of see the bits that are looking a little bit sticky there. Make sure it doesn't touch them. Now this side's got kind of that same look to it where it's roughed up. Lay that guy on. And give it a little hand press around the edges first. That'll set the middle. And then go around the weld roller to make sure it sticks all on the edges. And you can see that's stuck right on there without any cement. So next step, we gotta cut off this excess. The soles, you know, they size them as a 44 or 43 in this case, but they always run a little bit big so that I don't have to be quite exact. The knife goes through this a lot better when it's wet because it doesn't grab on. All right, so that one's ready to sand. There's, there's that bond. And once again, there's no cement under there at all. All right, last step. This works for me in a couple different ways. One, obviously, if I'm gonna go to all this effort of pre-soling a shoe, I'm not gonna let it leave looking ugly. So just putting some of that on makes a world of difference with the, with the uppers. And I always make sure to actually go along the edge of the sole with this because after I've sanded it, it's extremely sticky. So if it touches anything, it's gonna bond right to it. But going over it with the Duck Feet Leather Care actually short circuits that, makes it so it's not tacky anymore. That's it. Went smooth.